Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome aboard. If you're familiar with uh, roads hereabouts, you'll know I'm heading west. I'm on the uh, the tank road, as the locals track, like to call it. I mentioned that in the previous video, so have a look on there to, if you want to understand the origin of that, if you're not familiar. And a distinct outline of uh, Penn Hill in the distance with its flat top, although it's got a, a cap of cloud today. So we're heading west with the intention of um, seeing if we can take a look at something up uh, on the Butter Tubs Pass. Um, and failing that, we've got a plan B. Um, so for now, let's uh, just uh, sit back and enjoy the ride. Well, unfortunately, uh, it wasn't to be, I'm afraid. Uh, when I looked up uh, towards the Buddha Tubs Pass, the, um, there was a fairly low cloud base. And if there's one thing that's uh, not good for um, taking photos, it's lots of cloud like that. So we're going to head for, um, for Plan B, which is a bit further west. So I'm, I'm actually on the 684 now, the A684, and I'm uh, west of Hawes, heading in the Sedba direction, although I'm not going to go quite that far, but this uh, bit of the trip is going to take me uh, just just slightly over the border into Cumbria, and when I say slightly I do mean by just a couple of hundred metres, so uh, hopefully when we get there there'll be something, um, something worth looking at, but um, we'll just have to see. Well, as you can see, the further west I'm going, the uh, poorer the conditions, unfortunately. Um, I'm hoping that uh, I will actually be able to get the, the photos that I want to get, despite this mist. It's not uh, anywhere near as bad at uh, this level in the valley as it is further along, so hopefully um, that's going to allow me to, uh, to do what I want to do, but uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, ordinarily this is a beautiful bit of road and uh, you have to take my word for it but just off to the right um, are the Howgill Fells and they would look magnificent um, in the sunshine unfortunately there is no sunshine for them to look magnificent in there we go okay just passing the turn for Kirby Stephen on the right and that's the Moorcock Inn and we're coming up now towards the Settle and Carlisle Railway which will be going under momentarily and then I'm going to be pulling over and uh, there's a train there you go um, a bit of a freight train on the Settle Carlisle can't see it terribly well but you're getting a glimpse of it there hopefully right let's um, find a lay-by and pull over
Okay, well, a little bit of uh, a sad tale there, I'm afraid. Um, but uh, interesting uh, bit of history nonetheless. So we'll pass back under the Settle Carlisle line now and uh, not very far to the border with North Yorkshire. We're actually wearing Cumbria there. So we're just coming up to the um, county boundary, which is just here. And we're going to pass the left turn for Kirby Stephen. Apparently, when the uh, accident occurred, the um, the bodies were actually taken to, to the Moorcock Inn, which is this uh, building on the right. So, um, yeah, that had some uh, connections with it. Incredible to think that was um, over uh, nearly 115 years ago now, 114. Um, not the best kind of Christmas tale, but hey. And you can just make out the track bed on the right there as we uh, as we uh, continue west, east. No, east. Yes, as we continue east, and uh, hopefully towards some more sunshine. Certainly looks like there's a little bit of a blue sky in the distance, and yep, it's getting better as we the further west we go. And uh, this is a lovely bit of road to ride on. So. Uh, uh, enjoy! OK, making some progress now. We're uh, east of Hawes now and uh, back in proper sunshine. And this bit of the 684, very popular road with motorcyclists. Um, lovely nice sweeping bends, good visibility, so uh, I can see why uh, it's very much liked. I remember reading in Bike Magazine a few years back, it was amongst the top 10 favourite riding roads in the UK, so I'm very lucky to have it uh, on my doorstep, uh, and it is, uh, yeah, it's very nice indeed. And uh, we're just descending down the hill now, um, before we pass through the village of Bainbridge, OK, on side of Bainbridge now, between Bainsbridge and, and Askrig, and uh, we're going to look for somewhere to pull over in a minute. Um, see if we can get a few pickies, because it's looking uh, just lovely down here. This bit of the A684 is very prone, prone to flooding, so not always uh, uh, a road you want to be on. Here we go, we'll stop here. Off onto the last leg now, A684 westbound towards Laban. So, without further ado, let's um, let's engage warp drive and get ourselves home.
threats now so thanks very much indeed for joining me on another moto vlog hope you've enjoyed the ride and a little bit of uh, history from the last century sad tale but uh, plenty of sunshine in Wensleydale as well so thanks very much for watching please consider liking and subscribing uh, that's free and it really helps the channel and hope to see you on the next video bye